Longtime viewers of the channel, you know that I loved Matt Reeves, the Batman, and I have been craving the next addition to this Batman universe, and we finally have the Penguin. I was very fortunate enough to get the entire series and be able to watch it all, and this will be my non-spoiler review, but all I can say is that the Penguin is nothing short of incredible. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new TV review. Today, we're discussing the Penguin series. Of course, this will be non-spoilers, and it takes place a week after the Batman. Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin, makes a play to seize the reins of the crime world in Gotham after Falcone's death. As I mentioned off the top, I loved Matt Reeves' The Batman Movie. It is personally my favorite Batman movie, which I know is not everyone's favorites. I know everyone loves The Dark Knight. I love The Dark Knight too, but The Batman really did everything that I've wanted to see from this character in terms of what I've read in the comics, in terms of what I've loved in The Batman, the animated series, and overall from what I love as the character of The Batman, it just struck a chord with me so much. And it was for a while my most anticipated movie of all time, and I didn't know if that would actually live up to the hype when I finally got to see it, and it has. And it's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time now. I'm so happy to have that movie, but I've been craving that next edition. I've been wanting that sequel, and while we're still Still waiting for that sequel to happen and the Penguin TV series to hold us over until then. And to say that it's incredible makes me so happy to be sitting here and saying that because this series is about everything that I expected and even a little bit more than what I expected. Now, is the series going to work for everybody? I don't know. I haven't talked to a single other person that's actually seen the series as I'm reviewing this. So I might be in the minority. I don't know, guys. But what I can say is there's a couple things that may not work for everybody, and I can see some fans bitching about, and we'll talk about that later in this review, but I do want to remind you guys to make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts. What is your favorite part about Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe? I want to hear it down below, and how excited are you for the Penguin series? And without further ado, I like starting with my pros, so let's start with the positivity of this. And the number one thing I have to say, Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell as the Penguin is the definitive Penguin that I've always wanted i love danny devito as the penguin i love the penguin back in the day the penguin in many of the comic book series i love the penguin in of course the animated series back in the day but for me colin farrell kind of nails down exactly why i love this character so much and it's really fascinating because when we see him in the batman he's kind of not the penguin that we expect he has the name he has kind of the waddle to him but he's a different version of this character and to now get the series and kind of backstory on him, completely understanding where he comes from, but also how this is his rise to the Penguin that we know of in so many different forms of media, it was fascinating to see that nonetheless. The brutality, the, the backstabbing, everything of that, and what the Penguin will do to seize exactly what he feels like he deserves, I love to see that. And Colin Farrell plays it incredibly well to the point where it actually scared me with what he was doing. There are certain things and certain choices that he makes towards like the last four episodes of this series that actually like, I'm not joking. I sat there at one point going, Oh, we're going there. My jaw was actually like starting to slowly hang lower and lower as I saw him commit certain things. And I was like, what the hell? But again, it comes back to that backstabbing nature, that corruption, that he is that one of those guys that knows how to talk his way out of things and get the upper end of everything because he's just been watching from the back end for so many years and you see a lot of that come to fruition. Inside Kristen Milioti, I think is one of the best actresses in Hollywood. So underrated. If you haven't seen Palm Springs, I highly recommend you check out that movie on Hulu. I think she actually almost steals the show from Penguin himself because of how fascinating she is as Sophia Falcone and specifically seeing where she comes from and the parallels between both of them coming from two different ideologies and aspects of Gotham City two different districts and areas from how they rose as children and how they grew up into where they were. It was great to see these parallels and these connections to seeing how the Gotham underbelly kind of works. And that also ties into one character named Victor Aguilara, who is played by Renez Felice. I might be mispronouncing that. I apologize. He was phenomenal in this, but I love seeing how, again, Victor is again, where if you look at the Falcon and of course Cobblepot, and you see how they rose as children, where they came from, and you see how Victor is now affected by not just his backstory, his family's life, 
but primarily after the events of what the Riddler did, even though it's been a week, how fast in the city of Gotham someone may turn around and do something that's not the best in terms of even if it's against everything in your body to do. And to see how Victor grows and excels in here was, again, something that I found fascinating. And his relationship between him and Oswald is one of the best aspects of the entire series and what it means for the future of Gotham City and specifically how it ties into Cobblepot. Back and forth, having two great developments there is great alongside this everyone's phenomenal in here but clancy brown also sticks out as salvatore moroni i thought he was such a great addition in here and really plays this role to such a high t and deidre o'connell i don't want to say who she's playing because i don't know in the marketing if they've actually talked or shown it but I really liked what she did here and specifically, again, how it goes towards some of our characters. It's one of the things that I was really intrigued to see how they were going to able to build up because I knew we were going to get more development on Penguin and that was one of the more intriguing factors of it all. But what Matt Reeves said at Comic-Con earlier this year where I got to attend the panel, he mentioned how this series itself is very much diving into the underbelly, more of the corruption, more of the mobsters and the gangsters and as an extension of the Batman. One of the more fascinating aspects was as they were writing the Batman part two, everything that happens in this was basically going to happen in the first maybe hour or so. But they said as they were doing that, there was so much backstory that they wanted to add that it just wouldn't fit into the movie, and they decided to just make a series. And I think that was actually one of the more smarter aspects of this. To get those extensions from Matt Reeves, I think, is actually one of the smartest aspects of this series. And for me, getting to learn more about the underbelly of this Gotham it just makes me more intrigued to see what Bruce Wayne and Batman is going to have to do in the Batman Part 2. And also, how and what might happen going into the forward with certain characters that were introduced, or maybe just kind of came through into the series it's hard to talk without getting into spoilers but i really was fascinated with this entire show and some of the certain aspects that it introduces to this city of gotham that again only touch bases but also like when now i go and watch the batman uh part one i'm gonna be able to like be like oh like this aspect in the penguin like gives so much more detail to this character and this character and there's a lot I want to talk about in terms of that, but it, it just makes for an exciting thing. And vice versa, as watching the Penguin and having the Batman in the back of my head, I'm able to see so many different ideologies and things that like just kind of tie back to those. Stumbling on, I know. I just have to say, again, it was so great to get more build up into this world of Gotham. I love this version of it that Matt Reeves was able to build up. So in terms of the technical level, the, the show looks great. It sounds great. I love, love, love the score in here and specifically how it's used in certain set pieces. But that's about all I can say with my pros without actually diving into spoilers. Just know the series has a lot of moments that really had my jaw hanging and certain things that every time an episode ended, I had to get to the next one to the point where I'd watched, I think, up to episode six. There's eight episodes. I watched episode six and I wanted to watch episode seven and eight so bad, but the rest of my week was so busy that the, when I finally got time to sit down and watch this, the rest of the series, it was like a celebration for me in some ways. I think it's gonna be really cool to see week to week how people are intrigued with this series. Again, I might be wrong. I don't know how other people are gonna feel about the show, but I definitely know how I felt. But let's talk about some of the things that maybe some people won't be the biggest fan of. And one thing is kind of a spoiler and I can't really talk about it, but. I think some people might be a little bit disappointed in certain expectations that they might have. Now, they have mentioned certain things that will not be in this series, and they were not lying about that. I'm going to leave it at that. You can look up the marketing, look up in the certain things, or take my vague observations that I'm saying, but this is not that type of show. This is a series that is very much diving in to the Penguin and what happens when the biggest crime boss dies in Gotham City. What occurs after that? On top of this, diving into my only issue with the series, and it's very much a nitpick, and I genuinely think it's going to get fixed, because in the first four episodes that I was given, these episodes were color corrected, they were completely finished, and they looked amazing. They looked straight from, like, it was just a great extension of the Batman, and a lot of the series does take place during the day. But in the later episodes, the last four, they did mention that color correction was not finalized and finished, nor is some of the visual effects. So I cannot completely state how the series looks. I'm hoping that it takes from the first four episodes and does look more of an extension of the Batman universe. Some of the universe is a little bit weird to see like all during the day since the movie, t it feels like took place so much at night. I know there's a couple day scenes, but 
I want the city of Gotham to feel the same way. And I can see some people bitching about it if it isn't. So I do just want to say, last four episodes, maybe after color correction's done, it will look amazing. That's just my observation. That's to say, The Penguin is nothing short of an incredible addition to Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe. Gotham's underbelly of criminals and mobsters is intoxicating to follow, brought to life in a way that only adds to the legacy of the movie as well as the future. Colin Farrell is stellar. The Miliotti steals the entire show, almost. And this is the best TV series of the year so far. All that said, I'm going to give The Penguin an A+. I'm going to get an A+, on the contrary that I expect for that one issue I have to be fixed by the end product. But I absolutely love this series. It lives up to the hype that of what I expected it to be. And I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys are interested in me reviewing week to week, please let me know. I will actually look into possibly doing that if I have the time. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.